There has been a lot of talk here in Washington all year about the direction in which Rex Tillerson, the Secretary of State, wants to drive the State Department and perhaps more important, how he wants to reform it. Of course, all of this is coming even as there are questions about his own future with the nation's oldest cabinet department. The State Department is the face of the U.S. to the rest of the world issuing visas, working on humanitarian crises, trying to prevent war. But 10 months into the Trump administration, current and former diplomats are running to the press to accuse Secretary of State Rex Tillerson of destroying the department. The morale for many in the department has gone down so dramatically that you have to wonder whether or not other capable people will leave um, out of frustration. Diplomats and foreign policy experts say Tillerson's plans to reform agency operations are just an excuse to gut the department. To date, 46 ambassadors have been confirmed. 10 of the agency's top posts have been filled. But 97 posts, including ambassadors, assistant secretaries, and special envoys, are still vacant. And that includes ambassadors to countries such as South Korea, Saudi Arabia, and Somalia. There is another side to this story. Tillerson's response, well, like the complainers you. are lying. So we're keeping the organization fully staffed. Uh, we've had over, we're still running our Foreign Service Officer School. We've hired over 300 this year. So there is no hollowing out. These numbers that people are throwing around are just false. They're wrong. Members of Congress aren't convinced. House Democrats recently told Tillerson they believe the exodus of top diplomats is an intentional hollowing out of the department and is endangering national security. And some senators want Tillerson to end the hiring freeze he imposed at the beginning of the year and to send more nominations to them for approval. State officials insist the process is working as intended. The White House will say, hey, consider these people. And then Secretary Tillerson and some members of his staff will say, hey, here are some other people to consider. All of that takes time, but the secretary, and I will certainly be the first to acknowledge that we would all like this to move faster. Thomas Hill of Brookings says the vacancies mean inexperienced people are now drafting U.S. foreign policy. But he also says that ultimately uh, however, may not matter. What I would say is that it doesn't appear that State Department is really at the forefront of foreign policy decision making these days. Most important foreign policy decisions seem to be made at the White House. Even so, diplomats argue there's a fundamental reason why the posts need to be filled. People around the world can't engage with the U.S. if there's no one at an embassy or consulate in charge. As long as Rex Tillerson is holding the post, not only is he going to be representing U.S. foreign policy abroad, but his spokesperson also says that he's going to continue the work of trying to reorganize the agency to reflect 21st century concerns, as well as to try to save the U.S. government some money.